Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love, and laughter. Hello, my beautiful Libra friends. How are you today? This is your love reading. So let's jump in and look at the energy. We have the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, Libra, is the Nine of Pentacles. You are single and ready to mingle. Your person is looking at you. Your person is uh, looks as though they could be single or newly single, but it'll differ for everybody. But they, the powerful energy here is the attractiveness that you hold. You sort of mesmerize your person of interest. We get the, this is Virgo energy you look good you know your person feels very much that you're in a very powerful energy that they have deep respect for you they see you also as someone who manifests very well somebody who earns a lot of money who has some authority in your life and over your life your person is kind of all up in their head right now we have some Gemini energy Taurus and Virgo and but we see some really good energies here your person's coming into this now they're trying to find their authentic self. And we get this Eight of Swords. We see this energy where this person is struggling and in their head. We have the Cosmic Womb. So whatever's going on right now, there is a feeling, there's the energy of Divine Feminine, whether it's you or your person. The Eye of the Needle says that your person is operating with good intentions, intentionality. They are very much in this transition process of going from a person who hides their feelings, who buries and sort of hides who they are to the outside world, to really coming forth and going through that eye of the needle. So whoever you're dealing with is sort of an interesting person, somebody who tends to keep quiet, who tends to keep to themselves. Libra, we have the opening card. This is how your person thinks about you. So your person thinks of you as marriage material. You know, you're a candidate. You, you fit the image of a person with whom they could make a commitment. When they think of you, they think of you as marriage. They think of taking you out of the singlehood into, you know, being your partner with this King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. We have Taurus here twice, so strong earth sign energy right here. They watch you on the internet. They spy on you. They're seeking answers and enlightenment. They want to understand you better. The energy that we have here with the High Priestess is that your person is not telling you that they feel conflicted. So when they think of you, they feel a great deal of love for you. They feel the desire to marry you. But we also see them in this headspace. You know, we look at this Gemini energy of self-imposed restriction. I'm not going to tell anybody. I feel conflicted. They also feel as though they're underwater. Um, when they think of you, they want to invest in the relationship, but it looks as though there's some sort of competing issue that they find very uh, difficult for them, that they struggle with, that they feel sometimes like they're, they're drowning here, you know, emotionally in all of these intense energies of deep feelings. And this is something that I don't think that they're accustomed to because we can see the beginning of the reading is that your person has tended to put a different or project a different image to the outside world. So their thoughts are very interesting. A lot of their thoughts are about what they would like to do with the relationship and how they're very worried about sort of navigating this investment in the relationship. Now, Libra, in their heart space, there's a lot of love. We have the Six of Cups. Again, we have the Five of Wands. They're very conflicted. They want a victory. They are going to, in their heart space, they want to make an offer. They ache to make an offer. And it looks as though, now this is very interesting. You may not even know this person is having all of this angst and all of these feelings about you. The per your person feels as though you work together and that there may be some sort of a threat 
to maybe there's a policy in the workplace that says that people can't date, something like that. But your person feels, you know, the clarifier for can you work together? Can you be a team? Can you create um, a collaboration and relationship? And your person feels very underwater because there is a competitive situation. Now, straight up your person could be married to someone else you could be married to someone else so you know you'll take it as it resonates but your person loves you six of cups soulmate love scorpio energy but they're really struggling they want this this is leo energy they want to have an energetic win in this situation they want to have you in their heart space they see you as like that golden nugget of emotion of love the ace of coins is every bit as powerful as the ace of cups because the ace of cups can be a love that can be acted upon or not this is a love that's very practical grounded down to earth but they want stability and your person needs safety in their heart space they definitely feel that you would provide that there's no doubt but there is something that is holding them back and it could simply be um, you know another relationship or even obligations um, because you know a lot of times people are working a side gig they're just doing all sorts of stuff so when we look at their intentions this is very interesting we see the death card right at the center of this okay so we definitely see that we look at this energy and we have the emperor you know they see you as their their intention is to be friends with you to act in a very loving responsible manner as a friend but the six of coins also is saying that they need to stop giving to something or someone else or some other situation they intend to stop giving they intend to walk away from some other situation that looks like it's a competition between their desire to have you and something other that's uh, something else that's going on in their lives six of swords that can literally be moving away uh, from this person that they feel they have to end things with so their intention is to absolutely move in your direction because when we look at the outcome when we look at the cards that show us their actions they're trying to be very cool-headed they're trying to make this very sort of aquarian enlightened decision about you you know about you being their lover they see you in this Gemini energy. The communication between the two of you is tremendous, you know. But we have a, we actually have this energy that they are intellectually choosing and trying to choose you. So it does mean that there will be a leave taking from another person. It does look like oftentimes when I get the five of wands, I get the three of swords. It's competition. It's another person who's in the way. Again, this does look like a person in your situation rather than two jobs or parents. But again, third party can also be someone who is just heartbroken because they don't have the time or energy. But in this particular reading, I'm reading this as absolutely third party situation. The reason I read it as that is we have the heart of wands. We have the queen of wands here. So oftentimes that can invoke the feeling of a mistress or somebody that is very powerful in their own right. And the Queen of Wands is oftentimes operating with that Nine of Pentacles Virgo energy. We do see player energy here. So when we get we get the marriage energy here, player energy here. So they're making this sort of progress about, you know, wanting to invest in you, ending something else, leaving something else behind, and moving towards you as a free person. So there could be also an age difference, but we definitely see that this is hopes and dreams manifesting, hopes and dreams coming true. This is Aquarius energy. It's the enlightenment. We have Aquarius, Aquarius. Your person's very clear in knowing what they want. They're very clear in understanding that they want you. They're also very clear in understanding they must take a leadership role. That is what I see in the cosmic womb is this relationship unfolding. That what you don't see is that they do have to go through the eye of the needle, which to me would be, you know, Libra energy is, you know, it has to be a divorce. You have to leave someone else behind. Now, they may not be married to this person because I'm not getting 
the two cards that really always tell me about, say, a divorce, which would be justice, the initiation of paperwork, and judgment, the final dissolution thereof. So let's see what we have. I really like this reading for you. It's a very pure reading. It's a very direct reading. You know, when we see, you know, you, you really do want to have a person who has to think very seriously about leaving another relationship because you don't want player energy. You want somebody to come to you as a free person to explore the relationship so it can manifest. And we do see this intentionality of your person to do that. So let's see what the outcome is bringing you at this time uh, in this relationship reading, Libra. Let's see. We have the Spirit Guardian of Spring. Activation. Yay. Activating that energy. Getting out of that energy of, of self-imposed uh, restriction. Locking themselves in a prison. They're over it. They're tired. It's making them feel like they're drowning. So we see this freedom, okay? They are going to get their freedom. We see Eagle Spirit. They can fly in your direction. They're heading towards you. There is a message coming in soon. And we have guardians of the land. This relationship is divinely protected. So Libra, when we look at this relationship reading, I feel that it's a very positive reading. I am broadcasting from Chicago. If you like this reading, please leave a comment. Tell me where you're watching the video from and give it a thumbs up. If you don't mind, it would be so great. And thank you for joining me. Bye-bye, Libra.